Aloha everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be giving you my everyday makeup routine and everything I will be using will be linked in the down bar and without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into the video. I've already washed my face so now I'm going to go ahead and moisturize my face with the Too Faced Hangover RX. I like this because it's light and since I am oily student but I do have dryness around my face, I like to use a thin moisturizer. I usually use about two pumps. Just go ahead and massage that into my face where I usually feel dry. And then I'm gonna moisturize my lips with the EOS lip balm. Once that's all settled in, I'm gonna go ahead and mattify my face with the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer. I just squeeze a good amount, rub it in to my fingers, and dab where I usually get oily. Then I'll go in with the Dr. Brent Pores No More Pore Refiner Primer. And then once again, just warm it up between my fingers and dab. And if you guys are interested in the products, I will list them down in the description bar. While that's settling in, I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my brows. I'm just gonna go ahead and brush it. I'm gonna start from the beginning and work down to the tail. And then I'll start like midway at the top of the brow and just fill that in. And then make that arch and just bring it down. My brows do change quite often. The way I fill it in and what I use varies a lot. But lately I've just been liking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer and this is in the color Medium Brown. Now for foundation, I use the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. I like this one because it does give a nice coverage, but it also makes my skin feel like I don't really have that much on it. And since it is hot here and since I am really oily, I like to have that feeling instead of like sweating everything off and feel oily all the time. So I'm just going to take a pump and just spread it around my face so that I get a fuller coverage. And then I'm going to use the Morphe E6 flat brush. I love this one. And I mentioned this one in my collective haul, my summer collective haul that I just uploaded. So I'm going to be using my Morphe M500 and my Airspun loose face powder. It's so messy. Ugh, it's everywhere. I'm just going to go ahead and place this under my eyes. Because like I said, I do get oily and my under eye tends to crease a lot. And then for the rest of my face, I like to use my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Dark to go over the rest of my face. And this is just a MUA Professional Powder Brush. To give my face some color, I'm going to use the Anastasia Sculpt Kit. And I'm going to use my Morphe M556 brush to just give me some color. And then I'm going to use uh, this color here. And I'm just going to go ahead and bronze up the skin. I'm going to blend it under the chin. Just a little on the nose. On my face so the center of my face isn't so flat to give me some color and definition sometimes I like to go in with the same color but with the Sigma blending e25 brush and just work it on my eyelids to give my eyelids some definition and lately I've been using this highlighting shade in the palette also and I'll use the Morphe M501 brush. I'll just go ahead and highlight my cheekbones. To finish off the face, I'm gonna spray my Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray. Just to set everything in. And then I'm gonna use my Maybelline Brow Drama to set my brows in place. 
The last step I like to do is to just apply my mascara and this is the Benefit Their Real Mascara. And that is all I do for the face. And for the sake of this video, I'm gonna apply a lip color. And this is the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in Lumiere 2. So this is the final makeup look. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys aren't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button down below and get notified when I upload my next video. Until next time, guys. Bye. Fire when the strong hits you. That's it, friend.